Immerse yourself in the profound insights offered by Father Chuck Belmonte as he delves into daily reflections on various gospel passages from the Bible. June 4th, Tuesday, serving God on earth with our eyes on heaven. Sometimes we may feel that same desire which St. Peter expressed on Mount Tabor. Lord, it is good for us to be here. We would like to enjoy the fullness of the vision of God and forget about our task on earth. But now the angels question, why are you men from Galilee standing here looking into the sky? Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, this same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there, impels us to throw ourselves into our work, to be contemplatives in the challenges of everyday life, to go out to the whole world and teach the good news to all, to travel the world from one end to the other, our hearts filled with God's presence, to make him known to everyone. God did not create us to build a lasting city here on earth, because this world is the way to that other, a dwelling place free from care. Nevertheless, St. Josemaria writes, We, children of God, must not remain aloof from earthly endeavors, for God has placed us here to sanctify them and make them fruitful with our blessed faith which alone is capable of bringing true peace and joy to all men wherever they may be. I have constantly preached that we urgently need to Christianize society. We must imbue all levels of mankind with a supernatural outlook, and each of us must strive to raise his daily duties, his job or profession, to the level of supernatural grace. In this way, all human occupations will be lit up by a new hope that transcends time and the inherent transience of earthly realities. We must be contemplatives in the world. Inspired by the world, we have to set ourselves to work with still greater energy, since we know our Lord will return, even though we know neither the day nor the hour. This uncertainty cannot be allowed to lessen the urgency with which a child of God acts. On the contrary, it will incite us to live with loving vigilance, to finish everything, whether big or small, as if it were the last thing we do before going to the Father. A great task awaits us, insists St. Josemaria. We cannot remain inactive because our Lord has told us clearly trade till I come. As long as we are awaiting the Lord's return, when he will come to take full possession of his kingdom, we cannot afford to relax. We must continue serving God on earth with our eyes on heaven. The same Christ who encourages us to carry out our task in the world awaits us in heaven as well. In other words, our life on earth which we love is not definitive. We do not have a permanent dwelling place here, but we seek that which is to come, a changeless home where we may live forever. Pick, the risen Saviour, appears to his mother, van der Weyden. I would be delighted to extend an invitation to you once again tomorrow for another insightful reflection on the Gospel by Father Belmonte.